Hey guys, good morning. I'm gonna show you guys a few things in this video. We're gonna talk about Cardano, some pretty bullish news that's coming out. And then I'm gonna show you guys how a metric ended up calling the exact top of Bitcoin, literally to the exact candle um, before we saw this move down. I'll show that to you guys in this video. Let's quickly go over and let's take a look at this article. Cardano wells by the dip accumulating 140 million worth of ADA in an eight day spell. So what's really happening here, guys, um, I'll, I'll read through this, but um, the Vassal hard fork is coming up. And <laughs> when exactly is it? Well, let's read here. Charles Hawkinson assured users that there should, there should, <laughs> this is interesting, that he assured users that there should be no further delays to the Vassal hard fork after pushing it back for several weeks. ADA investors have gone into an accumulation mode. A lot of people are buying. Specifically, the major Cardano accounts have added 138 million worth of ADA tokens in the period between July 27th and August 5th, according to sentiment shared on August 5th. As you guys can see down here, we've got a lot of uh, you know the dresses from 10K to 10 million ADA have added a combined 0.46 of Cardano's existing supply since July 27th. Basically what this says is that there's a lot of big investors piling up for Cardano expecting this to you know see a great move up here we ended up calling out in our telegram channel the other day that we were exiting 25 percent of all of our positions and we actually ended up exiting at the exact peak of bitcoin and we exited at the exact peak pretty close here to ada so um what are we going to do now um two sections of this video let me explain this and i'll show you guys how we predicted that top on bitcoin exactly and i'll show that to you guys with our metrics so since we ended up exiting 25 percent at the top here i am going to be looking i'm going to be watching the charts closely today or tomorrow to be entering back into the market with that 25 percent we exited because obviously we can buy a lot more coins because the market has dropped about seven percent since where we bought uh, excuse me since where we sold yesterday so this is doing uh, us a lot of favors by selling and profit and buying back lower. The point of this account is just to accumulate as many coins as possible. Okay, let me take you guys over to Bitcoin. I'll show you guys the metrics here. Let's go to tradeconfident.io, come over to the crypto charts, and I want to take you guys down here. We're going to look at ADA here. So on the daily time frame, these metrics are going to up at, update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so when this starts moving up here higher, I'm definitely going to be looking for a sell signal in the market on the daily. Now, when this metric goes off and shows you guys a sell signal on the daily time frame, this is when big moves can happen. But we're working on releasing this metric in the form of a trading view indicator. So I want to show you guys this if, of how we use this actually on Bitcoin to be most specific to predict this market move back down because Bitcoin actually ends up having a lot of uh, impact on the other crypto. So let me take that over. Um, let me show this to you guys right now. Uh, we're on the daily time frame right now. Let me get this out of the way. So on the daily time frame, Bitcoin ended up seeing this candle up here. So what I ended up doing, we went down to the four hour time frame and we happened to see that the metric called the exact top up here with a sell signal and we ended up seeing the drop back down. Something I was looking at yesterday and I, I was showing this to you guys after I made the call in the videos was that when you guys eventually are able to get this indicator on your trading view charts, I, I want to just walk you through real quick of what I was seeing here, of why I believe we dropped so much. We've got structure up here, and the algorithm that we're pulling here, guys, is a mathematical equation. Okay, we're not using oscillators to pull the, the buys and the sells. That's, um, I honestly don't believe they're as accurate um, as they can be. So we're using a different mathematical equation. We got a sell as well as the price action candles are pushed up to this top red line here. And then we also ended up getting on this, what we call it here, the TC market reversals. We ended up getting these four red bars here saying, hey, within these four red bars, we're looking for a drop down. We also have a sell signal and we're pushed up to the top red line here. This is a really, really, really high confirmation that we're gonna see a drop back down, which is part of the reasons once I saw this here, we were like, okay, we definitely need to be exiting 25% of our positions. And then from there, we ended up seeing the market go down, which has been pretty awesome. Awesome. It also called the exact top on Ethereum and gave everybody a strong sell. Now, I know you guys don't have this on your charts yet. I'm meeting with the team today. We're going to try to get this released to TradingView as soon as possible so you guys can access this. But in the meantime, I'm watching this very closely over here on our charts for Bitcoin to see, are we going to get back down now and push down to a level where we're actually going to get a buy signal? Because I want to transition us into this part of the video of guys of like, look, when the market's low, we need to be coming out over here and we need to be looking for more scalping positions because we're currently sitting 400% more than the S&P 500. And you guys can see it on here. I've been really, really patient. We're August 9th and we haven't taken a trade since July 26th. But here's the deal, guys. If you would have taken a trade, you know, 
in the past, you would have all been in drawdown right now. So this is why we're staying so patient on this channel. We're waiting for the moves back down. I am gonna be watching the metrics over here to see if we get another buy signal on Bitcoin. And then I'm also gonna be pairing it up with the four hour to see if we can get some type of buy signal down here. And then we'll probably look to get into the market and scalp the market for 4%. So that call is gonna be coming out in our Telegram channel. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update of that. It's been really, really fun to use the metrics and I think you guys are just really gonna like them. So definitely stick around. I'll be sharing with you guys when that actually is coming out. But for all of you guys who wanna check these metrics out every morning, take a look at this. It's $75 a month. You guys get full access to the website. You actually get all the crypto charts as well as the stock charts just for $75 a month. We decreased this price from $95 a month down to 75 because we just wanted to help you guys out and we added four new coins. So a total of 40 charts you guys get access to. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Just before we end, let's go to the stock charts and look at the SPY. The SPY is pushing up pretty high here, guys. And so this was what was looking like uh, yesterday on the charts. This will update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So definitely be watching this on the daily to see if we get a sell. I do think the next time we get a sell signal here, it's going to correlate to a pretty decent drop in SPY and you know what, we, we may actually see it come out this morning. So be watching that as well as for all of you guys who ended up coming out and looking at, actually, let me show you this. All of you guys who ended up taking the signal that I called out for LLY, I know we're talking about crypto, but I'm just gonna flash this over to stocks really quick. We called out this signal on LLY for you guys if you were looking for calls in the market and it is currently up. So we ended up calling this out for you guys on the daily time frame. Let me go back up here. We had a buy signal as well as we were pushing down decently close to the bottom green line here, as well as we had a green bar at the bottom. And all of you guys who ended up taking that, you know, you guys either got already into the profit, you took your money out, you made your money, good job, or you guys are, are simply still in the trade. But you guys are definitely uh, doing well here. Even on the four hour time frame, this paired up perfectly with a buy signal at the bottom. We were in the bottom liquidity zone where a lot of short traders are going to look to take profit, which ends up giving momentum to long traders. So just I'm trying to teach you guys and show you guys how to use this metric on these different time frames. Because if you guys are trading crypto or stocks, if you're doing calls or puts, this is going to seriously be a game changer. And I think you guys will actually make a ridiculous amount of money with this. So um, have a good one guys we'll keep you updated when the metric is officially released but definitely keep checking back on the website and you guys can follow this on a daily basis and i'm gonna start calling some trades out here soon guys so definitely stay subscribed i'm gonna be calling trades out as well as i'm gonna be looking to get back into the market for our positions over here because we're obviously you know be able to buy back a little bit lower at a better price to accumulate more coins. In the description, I've got the links to the indicators, the trend exhaustion, price well money flow, as well as we've got a link to the membership. So have an amazing day, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more of these videos and I will keep you guys updated. All right, bye guys.